Take two of these and call me in the morning. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy, Paradron Medics! So here we are, and there they are, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have some assemblage going on there, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy, Galactic Odyssey Collection on the bottom, Galactic Odyssey Collection, Paradron Medics on this side, you just have words and things and stuff, on the other side, you just have the rest of the assemblage up top, War for Cybertron on the bottom, nothing, open it up, and you have... This nice bit of art going on here. You got Micron, Botropolis, Biosphera, Dominus, Paradron, all that good stuff. And some more assemblage going on there. And you also have a card telling you about Paradron. If you want to read that on your own time. And they have it in multiple languages. Hooray! for languages and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along here we have the paradron medics which consists of ratchet and lifeline so uh we'll start off with lifeline here and as you can see lifeline is just a recolor of earthrise rc Nothing new going on here, it is just a straight recolor, but we'll get in close here so we can take a look. That's the details, all the same molded details. Autobot symbol, transclearant plastic there for the windshields. All transclearant fin piece, transclearant wheels, all that good stuff. There's the back, there's the top, there's the bottom, visible, everything syndrome. Yeah, yeah we, we know, we know. <laughs> I've reviewed this mold twice already. We know how it works. She rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And again, if you have everything sitting in here just right, she rolls nice and smooth without anything dragging. One thing I've noticed too is that the instructions tell you to turn her head all the way around like that. But if you do that, like the very back of her head will kind of hit the floor. So you don't want to do that. The best way to do it is to have her head turn sideways and now you have that clearance for a nice smooth roll so there you have that and for comparison here she is with rc and you can see the exact same figure the only difference is just in the coloration so there you have that and you also get her weapon, her gun, which is done in transclearant plastic. It's the same gun that came with the other two versions of the mold, and you can store it the exact same way. Just plugs it right there. There you have your storage. Hooray for storage. You can also, I think, oh, you can plug it in right here using this tab. You know, you can do that too. Hey, things and stuff, stuff and things you can do if you want to do it. But hey. We know how this goes, so that's basically it for the vehicle mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> you can get a good spin out of her. So let's remove the gun, it's off the side, and shall commence. Transformation is exactly the same as RC, and I'll leave the one, so just bring the legs forward, rotate them forward, then bring the leg down, rotate, bring the leg down, then you can just rotate at the thigh here, put on the feet, there you go. Just get in here and just pop her arms out, pop her arms out, and then just take this whole section of the car, just kind of bring it up and unpeg it from her back here, and then just slide this up and just flip the panel in, flip that in, flip the panel in, flip that in. And then rotate all this around and leave it like that for now. And just come up to the front section, just bring this down part ways. And then you just flip these wheel sections in. Flip that down. And then just bring this down against her back. We can straighten her head out. And then bring this up. Got tabs, slots. 
Plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. And there you go. There you have Lifeline in her robot mode. And she looks just like RC, just in a different color scheme, but yeah. So let's get it closer so we can take a look not at her abs, but at that noggin that is the noggin. You can take the same RC head sculpt there. Got the blue there for the eyes. Still have the lipstick going on there. And not about symbol there on her chest. Got some gray there on the midriff. And the feet. And again, we have most of the car. Pretty much all the car <laughs> on her back. We know how this works now. Articulation wise, on the end, can rotate, can do a full 360, get a little bit of wiggly waggly. Arms can do a full 360, in and out. Bicep, nice deep elbow bend. Wrist can move in and out. You got your waist rotation, legs forward, back, out. You get thigh rotation, you get your double jointed knee. Nice full range of movement there. Feet can move up, down, and you have the ankle tilted. And of course we can give her the gun and we can still plug the gun into her, uh, into her butt. And it's still awkward, but hey, it's storage if you want storage, but... <laughs> Unclench, RC! Unclench! There we go. RC, not RC. You're not RC, sorry. Lifeline. Your lifeline, not RC. Your lifeline, even though you look just like RC. <laughs> but <laughs> she can hold her gun and pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, all that good stuff. And just like with the other versions of the mold, you can push this little release button here and remove all of this, like so. You can have a nice smaller backpack. And you just rotate this around, collapse it up, flip all of this out, flip this out. Put this all the way out, put that out, and you can have the hoverboard deal going on. Just peg her feet, peg her feet into the things. Why aren't you pegging? There you go. Peg, peg, peg. Oh, see, RC. Oh, I keep calling her RC. Lifeline. I'm sorry. You look just like RC. I, there's, a, there's, there's just this family resemblance that I just can't get over, so I keep calling her RC by accident, but there you go. There you have Lifeline <laughs> with her. With her hoverboard of lifelininess. So there you have that, hooray, whoosh! So now let's talk about the main reason people are probably buying this set, and that is Mr. Ratchet. Yes, here is Ratchet in his ambulance mode, and he is basically a recolor, slight remold of Ironhide as Ratchet tends to be. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at those details. I love the blue that they use for the windshields and the windows. I just love that shade. It just, it just pops very nicely. And you got the front grille there and bumper done in black. You got the light bar up top, Autobot symbol, the red stripe going down the side, his feet hanging out the back. And there is the top, that is the bottom, he rolls! As rolling things should, hooray for rolling ratchets. And for comparison, here he is with the uh, Siege ratchets. So you can see his Cybertronian mode, his Earth mode. And here he is with his mold mate, Ironhide. You can see the similarities, you can see the differences. You can see what's what, and who's who, and where's where. So, there you go! So that is basically it for Ratchet's old mode, so let's get down to transformation again, shall we? Ah, you get a pretty good spin on him. So first thing we need to do is we need to just take this front windshield, just bring that forward, um, bring these windows out. A smidge, and you just get in here and you just pop off the whole roof here. Like so, what parts for? Shh. 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 It's okay. Shh. Shh. And you can see right in here is where his 
these gun stores, just pegs right in there. We'll put that off to the side. And you take these windows and you just flip them in. Take these, flip those in. And we just put this off to the side for now. And here we have what is left. So you're just gonna come here to these side panels, untie these, untie these, then open this section up and bring this out, bring that out, there we go. And then just kind of angle all this down so you have room to operate here, just with the legs and just close that up, close that up, bring these panels down. Bring it down, and there you have the legs all done. So now we move on to the upper body. And we take the bumper, just bring that down, and this. Oh, my copy holds on quite secure. So bring that down like so. You want to take this whole section here and just pop it up. That will allow you to rotate this around, and then push it back in. It'll lock into place. Take a straighten his body out. And then we just untap his arms, bring them out to the side, and just rotate, bring down, rotate, bring down, and the bumper, you just bring that up, flip his head up, and bring the windshield up in there. These two little tabs are going to notches right here on the windshield, like so. And there we go. There we have Ratchet in his robot mode. And he's a nice looking g one Ratchet, as Ratchets tend to be, but let's get in close here, not on his belly, but on that noggin, that's the noggin. Okay, it's a nice ratchety head sculpt, looks quite good, nice silver there for the face, blue for the eyes, you got black there for the head crest. Nice head sculpt in my opinion. Got that detail there in the chest. I know some people wish this was like filled in and yeah, it'd be nice, but you know, I mean, obviously his head has to go in there too, so it can't be totally filled in, but eh, I mean, it is what it is. I know Repro Labels, I, I believe Repro Labels makes a sticker so you can kind of like put some detail in there, you know, kind of fill that in, make it not look so empty. So you know, things you can do about it if you want to. You got the red there for the shoulders. Nice detail going on there in the legs. His big old shins, his big old feet. And a very clean transformation. And there you go. Now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you get your wiggly waggly. You can look up, you can look down. The head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. You can use this joint also for a little bit of extra movement if you need it. Bicep rotation of 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You got wrist rotation, waist rotation, legs can go. Forward, that far, back, that far, outward. You can do the full splits and then some. You got thigh rotation, you got 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And the feet, they cannot move up or down, but you do have lots of ankle tiltage. And of course you can give him his accoutrement. We can give him uh, the gun here, which is the same gun that Ironhide has, which is uh, reminiscent of the, the gun that came with the G1 toy. You can plug that into his hand. Like so, it's quite snug on mine. There we go. You got pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. As far as the uh, the roof of the ambulance goes, you can always put that onto his shoulder like that. Just have him use it as a big shield. Plug it onto his forearm like that. It kind of has like a little stabby point. You could probably stabby stabby with it also. Just a little stabby stabby. Medical stabbing. It's medical. Medical stabbing. He's a doctor. It's medical, medical stabbing. Me personally, I just plug it onto his back and just leave it back there. But hey, as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. But of course, you can just push this peg forward. And you get those four cannons that come out. So if you want to, we can actually let me uh, let me switch hands here. Put this in his other hand. And we'll put this in his right hand. Oh, we can plug this in. You can hold that. That's just a big old quadruple barreled bazooka of of healing, of, of, of not, not of murder death, of, of, of healing, of, of healingness. He's a doctor. He's, he's a doctor. 
And of course they are bluish compatible. That's right. So we can bring in Siege Jetfire and uh, Earthrise Scorpinox effects parts here. We can bring in Lifeline. Also Lifeline, not RC. Lifeline. And so we can give one to Lifeline. Can you hold it up? Can you? Can you? No? We're going to do this? No? Can we, can we do it? There we go. Okay. We'll do that. And we'll plug one up in here and we'll plug one on here that one doesn't hold that one doesn't hold that one doesn't work that one nope okay okay so we're not gonna do that one we'll just we'll just well okay no no this is all just this is all just going wrong this is all going bad and wrong wrong and bad here we go there we go now we're doing it now we're doing things there we go and we can do <laughs> a big old triple medical medical blush it's for medicinal purposes it's medicinal blush okay medicinal blush that's how it works so there you have that and now for comparison let's get ratchet out of the way real quick and we'll bring in rc Again, as you can see, the exact same figure. The only difference is just in the coloration. And we'll bring Ratchet back in. And here he is with Ironhide. You can see how they look together. And again, they have their similarities. They have their differences. The Ratchet and Ironhide have always been... Uh, mold mates so obviously this iteration is no different and here he is with siege ratchet so you can see how that works out so there you go so there you have ratchet and a lifeline and yeah ratchet is pretty much a necessity i mean if you have iron hide you gotta have ratchet as far as i'm concerned anyway lifeline you know take her or leave her she's just a straight repaint of rc you know I, I like the mold but you know lifeline is just you know definitely was not the necessity of this uh two pack i bought this for ratchet but hey all in all nicely done figures fun figures so i have no issue with them as far as i'm concerned so now these two were an Amazon exclusive, so uh, good luck with that. Uh, but for all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com as always linked in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Earthrise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Paradron Medics. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face. And that's when I learned that you don't slap an Ordvark. That story made no sense and just left me with more questions than answers. Hey Ratchet, I'm thinking about asking the new girl out on a date. Got any pointers? No, oh, for Primus sakes, I'm a doctor, not a matchmaker. Hey, Prime, I think I'm ready to rise. Oh, you went there. What?